So this is the camper. And here is some detail. This is a storage space right here. Um, we always keep the gas tank connected even when we travel. And when you hook up the camper, it hooks up to right here and you're gonna hook it to your hitch. The hitch should be a two inch hitch right there. We also have a Bluetooth brake control. This is where you access the battery right here. There's a key. There you go, you line it up and then you turn it to the right. We currently have that cord connected to an extension cord that can be connected to regular power, which we have connected into a garage. This is an adapter in order to connect it to regular power and that comes with the camper. When you have this all closed up, the first thing that you wanna do is remove the rain cover and you have those attached to all of these little pegs. So we're gonna start taking these off. We do have a couple tiny holes here, which we've just put um, duct tape onto. And then there's one other place right here that we have done the same thing. So this just, so this just slides out before we fold it up. Mm -hmm. Next thing is you have to unclamp these parts here before you open up the camper on both sides. Okay, so next you pull out the poles. They're stored under here, it's right here. And there's a D-ring that you pull out and then you can pull out each of the poles. There's four places for those. Okay, so now we put in one end of the pole here with the D-ring. And then the other end of the pole is going to attach right here once we open the camper. Okay, so now we're going to balance the camper by putting down these feet. And what we always want to do is we have these um, orange pedestals just so that weight is evenly distributed. So you put that down all the way. And then we're going to go to each of the other four places those down as well before we open the camper. And this is when the dog gets excited. Next thing is you want to put this down for stability and this needs to come completely up when you're putting the camper away. So, now that we've got those poles on, we're gonna open it up. It has, it doesn't come down too quickly because it's got like an air pressurized thing in there. I'm not sure what that's called. And now we're gonna attach these poles under here. And that has a little pin that's attached to the pole that goes into it and holds that in place. Okay, now, now we repeat the process on this side, open it up. You don't even really need anybody to be there can be done one person at a time. And you put each of the other poles in the same way that we showed before. Okay, so the next step is we take all of the canvas and put it on the outside of the camper. And you just wanna make sure this is tight and lined up with everything. So at this point, these things here are going to be open because we just, because um, after you've let out the air, those have to be open. And so now you want to close these to get ready for the inflation. They're just little valves here. And there are five of these total. Two over here, one there, and two over there. And there's a little zipper to close. So that rain can't get in. Next thing is to inflate the camper. And what you need to do, go over to here to this panel. You want to turn the power on. And so it's continuing to inflate, inflate, it kind of does that all on its own. Sometimes we like to 
could go in there and just push it up to open those air poles to let the air in a little bit quicker. Now it's popping up. He's gonna go in there and push that a little bit because there's a little kink, so there it goes. And now everything will pop up on its own. So sometimes it you need to give it a little bit of help. And that's about it takes a total of like two minutes, maybe three minutes. It's not the 90 seconds that they say, but it's close. And then we've got our open camper. So we brought this extra mattress, but um, we could throw away these um, mattresses underneath. Um, we just figured we could store the mattress in here. And so that worked for us. So either way, this fits in kind of perfectly. And then you can see all of the parts that we're gonna have to put together. So I'm gonna start doing that. First thing is to put up the sink here. And the thing that you wanna make sure of is that you've got this drain here lined up. So this is how the sink drains and there's a little hole there and a tube that goes in there. And then the other thing that you need to do is make sure that this pops in there. So once you've got that in place, you can put this one up and put this in. And now there's two latches here. So you need to be on the outside of both of these latches right here and line those up. And then these are gonna go in here and that seals it down. Okay, so the next thing is this piece and it fits right in the middle of these two pieces, is that right? No, the other way. So this lines in back there, this lines in here. You just have to match those up and then that clicks into place. Next thing is we have some shelves here. So this goes in this way, so you put it in and it will fit right into those little pegs of a solid shelf there. Next thing is the gas here, and this goes in through right here, and then it's gonna connect under here. So once you've got this clicked in, and it should be tight enough that you can't pull it, so you just pull this back to click it in, and then this is the line for the gas, and so when this is parallel, the gas is on, and when it's perpendicular, it's off. So right now it's off, and we will hook up the gas line and do that in a few minutes. Ah! So what we've got here, We've got the stove here, got some space here, and then we've got the sink over here and your faucet. And you have to hook up to water in order to do that. And one of the things that you really want to watch out for here is you need to go underneath and make sure that that is screwed in really well, because that is a place for potential leaks. But as long as that is screwed in, you're good. So just make sure that this tube is there. Make sure you're hooked up good here and just make sure this is totally tight so that no water comes through the drain. All right, so now I'm gonna open some of these windows, let some light and air in. And you've got the light one, and then you've also got the plastic to keep any rain or air out. And you just roll these up. So there are four sunroofs here. I'm just finishing up one of the other ones. And before you get over here, so there's just one thing to watch out for. Underneath here is the table. That's what holds this up. And you don't want to step on it. We've put some Velcro here. So now we're just going to turn on the gas from the outside. So we can use the stove in there. Standard propane tank. After you put that gas on, like I said before, you have to turn this to parallel to turn the gas on in here. So now it's on. So you've got your stove here. What you need to do is turn this to light and then press this to get it to start. So you press that 
and you can kind of see that it's lit and then you have your high and then you can turn it to low and it stays lit. And then for the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off. The other one, this pilot is not working. So if you turn this on and you try to light it, it's not gonna work. But what you can do is light it yourself and it still works perfectly. So that's all lit. You know, it's hard to see in the daytime. So there's tons of storage in here. You have this, which connects to this, which also connects to that. And that's how you access all of the mechanicals. And then you have this here. So tons of storage all over the place. Let me just show you a couple other spaces. You've got storage here also. And this is how you access um, the pump. And there's also extra plugs in there, outlets. Storage under here where the gas is. Storage under the sink. And then the other thing is in here we have a bunch of storage and this opens both this way and it also opens like this so you could have the refrigerator sitting on here and you can still access that storage and then the, and then the refrigerator plugs in right to the outlet here So in here, you have another plug for a 12 volt, and then you also have that regular um, outlet. And so what we've done is we've connected it to here so it's a little bit more accessible. And so if I turn that on, we've got power. And one of the things that we have added to this wonderful camper is some lights. And so at night, this is especially cozy when we have all of these twinkle lights on. We also have other lights that are built in. So there's one right here. You just have to click on that. And that can show you where you're going at night. And then there's one other one that is right here by the door. Also just click, click on that. And there we go. So when you have this laid down like a bed, these go here. And if you want to set it up like a couch, you take these out and you just Throw this in here, and you've got a back, and then these other ones here go in the corners. So this is going to Velcro to that, and these are going to go right in here, and they also Velcro together. So we mentioned that there's Velcro under here to keep it a little bit more stable. So we pull that off now that we've got the couch all set up. And now we can make a table. So that goes in there, and you just set the table on top. Make sure you get in the hole. And now you've got a whole eating area over here. Here's the heater, and this is how you turn it on, right there. And then down here is how you control the temperature. And now we are back to where we started. And we can go ahead and start folding everything up. Go around and take out those plugs we mentioned before. So that the air valve, they're air valves, so that um, everything can start to deflate. And so there's, whoop, that always happens the first one. <laughs> so there's five of those. All right, so now that it's all deflating, we just kind of go around and help it to deflate a little bit faster. Push it in a little bit, maybe up to three minutes to kind of deflate everything. And then we want to go ahead and take off the poles before we start to fold it up. So take the D-rings out. So I'll put the poles in and then you want to just secure that with the D-ring there through and attach that so the poles don't go anywhere okay so now we're gonna close up the other side super easy for one person to do and again just make sure you tuck everything in 
Don't crush anybody's fingers. And then you just clamp that down. Do the same thing on. And then just finish it up on this side. Then you want to go around and get all of those straps in place so the cover's on tight. Make sure your corners are exactly in place. And then you're good to go.